good. Um, tonight, since we are the Tournament of Champions, it's the championship game, we have our, our monthly totals, Sharks with 2,600. Um, in third place, our second place team is Cool Christians with 4,200. And our returning champions after last week's uh, big come from behind, Grass with 5,550 points. That's just for tonight. Those will be added to tonight's scores. The winner of the overall week, or the overall month, will get a pizza party with Pastor. So we'll, the winner tonight, will stick around and figure out the date we're going to do that. There also still is the weekly winner. So you could win the week and still lose the whole month. And we do have candy bars for the weekly winner. So, or you could win everything. So we got that. There are two double jeopardy questions. Just to review that. If a double jeopardy question is... You can wager anything up to what you have, not only for the week, but your monthly totals. Yes? With that, would you add the total? Like, what, how much the question is? No, it's not the question. <laughs> the, the, the dollar amount is thrown out. So you, so you could have, your, it could be a $200 question, but you can make it worth $4,200. Or if you already have 1000 you can make it worth $5,200. Or you can make it worth zero. So you guys get to pick as a team. However... On the double jeopardy, only one person can answer it. So you decide how much it's worth as a team, but whoever happens to be up for that question, they're the only person who can answer that. Does it make sense? Because you won't tell you the question until, until you guys pick how much you want to win. And then only the, only the one person who picks it, so it's not open for everybody. It's just the one team that happens to land on the double jeopardy question. So the, it's the whole team doesn't get to it, just that one team that gets to pick it. Now, the final question of the night is also the final Jeopardy question, which means everyone answers it and everyone gets to pick their weight, just like we've done the last couple weeks. So we're giving them lots of chances, doesn't matter where you're on the scoreboard, everyone can still win this. Are we all in it? Any final questions? All right, our returning champions are the grass. Grass, oh, let's go over the categories. Tonight's categories, because we're talking about baptism and Holy Communion, are wet and wild, Baptism, wet and wild, okay. Um, washed in the water, uh, which anybody would guess what that's about? Baptism. Life after death. We die with him, we are raised in him in a newness of life. It's a baptismal question. Uh, a rose by any other name. Is rose. A rose by any other name. This has nothing to do with our Vanna White wannabe. This has to do with lots of... Lots of, lots of different names for Holy Communion. Holy Communion can be called a lot of different things. So this is all about Holy Communion. So it can be called a lot of different things. For you. God said, take, eat, this is given and shed for you. So this is a Holy Communion category. And not Burger King. So what's the theme of Burger King? What's the motto of Burger King? Have it your way. This is not your way. This is God's way. So this is a category about Holy Communion and the way God wants it, not the way we want it. So, first three categories are baptismal categories. The last three categories are Holy Communion categories. Any questions about that? Returning champions, what category and what dollar amount would you like to choose? Um, washed in the water for 200. Washed in the water for 200. i find my mouse here. And the uh, do my finger. And the answer is, or the question is, works forgiveness of sins, rescues from death and the devil, gives eternal life. And the question is, oh Davis, what is baptism? What is baptism? And the correct question is, what are the blessings of baptism? Those are the blessings of baptism. So it is an incorrect answer. All right. Next up. All right. Uh, Leland, what category and what? Uh, wet and wild for 200. And the answer is. All right, just let me ask the answer. This in not this in not just water, but it is the water included with God's word. Um, Ryan? Rosary. 
forgiveness? What is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? And the answer is, what is baptism? It is baptism. All right. Uh, Chloe? Um, life after death, 200. Life after death for 200. And the answer is the blessings of baptism. What is the forgiveness of sins? What is the forgiveness of sins? What is the forgiveness of sins? Rescue from death and the devil and eternal salvation. So you got one third of the right answer. So you get one third of the money is zero. But nice try. I appreciate your, your, your gusto. We are not off to a fast start. No. But we're going to pick up the pace. All right. Uh, Kelly, what category would you like? Uh, a rose by any other name for 200. A rose by any other name for 200. This has to deal with names and, and topic of Holy Communion. And the answer is the true body and blood of Jesus under the bread and wine. Jacob. What is communion? What is communion? And the correct answer is, what is Holy Communion? All right, we have our first scoreboard. All right, we're making a run at it. What is Holy Communion? So, Jacob, it's your board. Let's do not Burger King 200. Not Burger King for 200. And the answer is, examine yourself before receiving communion prevents this. Not getting the whole benefit. What? No, what is not getting the whole benefit? Mm -hmm. What is not getting the whole benefits of communion? And the correct answer is, what is taking communion in an unworthy manner? Which is close, but unworthy manner is really what we're looking for. The whole benefits versus an unworthy is not the same. But I appreciate that. All right, Luke, it's your category. Um, for you, 200. Please. For you, for 200. Are you ready? And the answer, the question is, the answer is, these are visible elements of the sacrament. Luke. What is the, That's my the job, forgiveness Jacob. of sins? What is what? The forgiveness of sins. The visible what elements of the sacrament. Oh, wait, um, what is the wine and bread? And the correct answer is, what are the wine and bread? We will give you credit for it. Good thing you had a chance to rethink your answer. All right. All right, um, Luke, you retain possession of the board. Um, life after death, 400. Life after death for 400. The question is, the corrupt and evil nature we inherit from our parents in the Garden of Eden. Uh, Davis? Is that where, who is Davis? I think it was Davis. That was Davis. Yeah. Davis? What's the, the corrupt and evil nature we inherit from our parents in the Garden of Eden. What is old Adam? What is the old Adam? What is the old Adam is correct. 400 points. Way to go, D. Davis, you now own the board. Um, for you, 600. For you, for 600. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding, for you, ding, for 600. Oh! Ding, ding. Ding, ding. We have ding, our ding, first ding. daily double. Davis, this is just for your team. You guys get to decide. You have 3,000 3, points you can wager. How much of your wager do you want to bet on? You can wager up to 300 or anything less than that. That would double your points. The top point is 55. That would put you in the lead if you wagered it and got it all. So you guys decide. But only, uh, who's, Ryan. Uh, only Ryan can answer this. So you guys decide how much you want to wager. 1,000. All right, so they're worth 1,000. Ryan, your $1,000 question is... <laughs> All right, here you go, Ryan. And the answer is, only those who have this will receive the blessings of Holy Communion. Only those who have this will receive the blessings of Holy Communion. What is forgiveness? And the correct answer is, what is faith in the words of Jesus? What is faith? You lose 1,000, so you go back to 1,600. 
bet a thousand. You bet a thousand. He has four hundred to be named. They had twenty six hundred. Because they bet because oh, they bet for the whole, okay. the, so for the total. We just yeah. We'll take it from their total. Okay. Yeah, given give them their daily total. We'll just take it from their, their uh, monthly total. Okay. So they just go back to 1600 for their monthly. Yeah, because we'll yeah. give their daily. Yeah. Okay. All right. I catch on eventually. Yep. Yeah. Brian, you still own the board, though. Wash in the water 1000 Wash it in the water for 1000 Oh, my gosh, they got another daily double. You got the second daily double in a row. So your team gets again, guess, but this time you get, you get 2,000, up to 2,000 you can wager. You can all or nothing. You guys decide, but now Landon has to answer the question. So you guys get to decide how much do you want to wager on this? All or nothing or somewhere in between? 600. 600. All right, $600 on this question washed in the water. It's a baptismal question, and the uh, answer is taking a shower or a bath. Taking a shower or a bath. What is cleansing yourself? What is cleansing yourself? And the proper question is, what's a good way to remember my baptism? What? <laughs> You remember your baptism by taking a shower or bath. All right. Boy, you guys got back to back. Uh, all right. No more daily doubles. No more daily doubles. Should they bet a thousand though? They bet six hundred. They bet six hundred. You guys keep an eye on me. Yeah. All right. So, um, Truman, it's your board. A rose by any other name for 400. And the question or the answer is These holy evangelists wrote about the sacrament of Holy Communion. These holy evangelists wrote about the sacrament of Holy Communion. It's open for everybody. Answer is who are Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Paul. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and Paul. Not John, but Paul. All right. Davis, the board stays in your team. Not Burger King 600. Not Burger King for 600. And the answer is those who don't repent, don't believe, and aren't instructed. Emily. What is don't do communion? Don't do communion. And the answer is those who should not receive yeah. communion. Yes, those who are not receive communion. <laughs> don't do I'll take And it's probably who versus what. But we'll give her credit for it. All right. Don't do communion. We'll work on good things this is in English. All right, Emily. The board is yours. Life after death for 600. All right. And the answer is the spiritual life and nature in us by washing and rebirth. Ryan. Back to Ryan. Um. The spiritual life and nature created in us by washing and rebirth. What, if, what is forgiveness? And the proper answer is what is the new man? The new man. What is the new man? All right. Jacob, your team retains control. Uh, wet and wild, 400. Wet and wild for 400. And the answer is to apply water by immersing, washing, pouring, and the like. Um, Jacob, what is baptism? What is baptizing? The way we baptize. Baptizing. Judge? No. Is our official judge? Apply water by immersion, sprinkling, or wadding. What is baptism or baptizing? 
Okay, the judge says yeah. That's a poor question. Don't argue with the judge. Here come the judge. Here come the judge. That's why we have a judge and it's not me. Get the tough decisions. All right. Okay. Uh, Jacob, you maintain control. Um. For you, four hundred. For you, for four hundred. And the answer is the chief blessing of the sacrament, Leland. What is? <laughs> what is? The chief blessing of the sacrament. Faith. Or what is forgiveness? Which one do you want to pick? What is the forgiveness of sins is correct for 400. Which thing you change? You're on the board. Now, now they're ready to take off. Leland, where would you like to go from here? Wet and wild for 600. Wet and wild for 600. And the answer is he commanded his church to baptize all nations. Who is Jesus Christ? Who is Jesus Christ? And the answer is, who is Jesus? All right, Luke, man, he's on top of that. It was a $600 question. $2,000. All right. Hey, this is getting tough. You're, getting really <laughs> You're making the judge nervous. All right. Luke, where would you like to go? Wet and wild, a thousand, please. Wet and wild for a thousand. Listen up. Here's your answer. Included in all nations, Jesus invites them to come. Our sinners can have faith. Who rang the bell? Brian? What is Christianity? What is Christianity? And the answer is, why do we baptize babies? Why do we baptize babies? All right. Uh, Emily, I think the board belongs to you now. Okay, All right, listen up, you guys. Wash in the water for 400. The answer is the blessing of baptism are given to these people. Uh, Abby? Abby? Um, blessings of baptism are given to these people. Who is. Sinners? And the answer is, who are all who believe? It's only those who believe. Baptism doesn't work for unbelievers. All right, all right. Uh, Jacob, where would you like to go? Um, let's do a rose by any other name, 600. A rose by any other name. And the answer is, Lord's Supper. Lord's table, Holy Communion, breaking of bread, the Eucharist, Luke. What is Holy Communion? What is Holy Communion? And the answer is, what are other names for the sacrament of the altar? Holy Communion was in the answer. I didn't see it. I just ran it. Yeah. Okay, Luke, for that bad answer, you get to pick a category. Washed in the water, 600. Wash in the water for 600. Is it possible for an unbaptized person to be saved for this reason? It is possible for an unbaptized person to be saved for this reason. What is no? No. Let me reread it because I read it for it. It is possible for an unbaptized person to be saved for this reason. What is no is probably not. Yeah, it's the question. So you want to. And the correct answer is, only unbelief condemns. You don't have to be baptized to be saved. But if you, remember the thief on the cross, was he baptized? No, but he still went to heaven. Jesus said, today you'll be with me in paradise. It's unbelief that condemns you, not the lack of baptism. Okay? All right. You guys can't have your fingers on the bell. They have to be off the belt. Who's, who's uh, category? Is it Luke's or Emily? Emily. For you, 1,000. For you, 1,000. All right, and your answer is 
what we call the Reformed Understanding of Holy Communion. What we call the Reformed Understanding of Holy Communion. Emily. What is getting saved? What is getting saved with lack of confidence? What is symbolic representation? Symbolic representation. All right. Jacob, you oh, get these Luke's now. Luke, you get a pat category. Um, a rose by any other name, 800. All right, rose, 800. This is not just water, but it is water included in God's word. Oh, what is holy water? What is holy water? I think you guys are all ringing without reading. Wait, could not the Yeah, they so, so, right. on, on eight hundred. Make sure you got the right question. Yeah. Right, go back here. I thought it was what was uh, it? didn't get the right question. Let me let me do this. We're gonna delete that one. It starts all over again. Same same people. Same people. Pay attention. Here's the question or the answer. True God and true man who instituted this sacrament. True God and true man. Um, Take your finger off though so we can hear you. Uh, um, what is um, baptism? Um, no. I think you need to read the question okay. before you try true to just God guess an answer. Yeah. They got time for um, True God and true man. Who yeah. so is old Adam and new Adam? Old Adam and new Adam. The correct answer is who is oh. Jesus Christ? <laughs> I, I, I know you're excited to answer, but make sure you're reading the question, even though there are typos in it, because you're answering questions that aren't being asked. I ain't coughing. So you're so excited just to ring the bell that you forget to read the question. All right? It's not about winning, it's about knowing. Who's up? You're reading. Your team. Jacob, what category? Um, washed in the water, and. Wash in the water, close out this category. 800. Read the question. Baptism is not a water only or a spirit only sacrament. That's the answer. Baptism is not a water only or a spirit only sacrament. And the question is. You read the question, everything slows down. <laughs> and the correct question is it is a water oh. and spirit baptism. <laughs> You're not baptized just by the water, or <coughs> baptized just by the spirit. It is a water and spirit baptism. Because there are some people who separate water from spirit <laughs> baptism, and that's not a correct understanding. <laughs> All right, Emily, what category? Life after death. Life after death for 800. These words help us to remember our baptism. These words help us to remember our baptism. What Emily. is water? What is water? Oh, oh. And the correct question is, what are in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Sorry for my sins. Do I believe in the body and blood of communion? Do I desire to change my ways? Um, right. What is uh, asking myself if I should take communion? What is asking myself if I should take communion? The correct answer is how do I examine myself before communion? That's the correct answer. That's 400. Okay. All 
right, well done, Ryan. You got a, got a off the, the, the snide, all right? Ryan, you've earned the right to pick the category, Ryan. This is still anyone's game. You have two questions, and, and you can be in the lead. For you, 800. For you, 800. All right, and the answer is what we call the Catholic understanding of Holy Communion. What we call the Catholic understanding of Holy Communion. You can't help him. He's got to do it on his own. What Jacob. is the sacrament of the altar? What is the sacrament of the altar? And the correct answer is, what is transubstantiation? I've never heard that yet. Never. What is transubstantiation? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, Landon, what category would you like? Landon, you get to pick. Uh, how about not Burger King 1000? Not Burger King for 1000. And the answer is what we call the Lutheran understanding of Holy Communion. What we call the Lutheran understanding of Holy Communion. Truman. Don't think you're what is communion? And the proper answer is what is real presence. <laughs> these were not in your catechism. These are just understandings of Holy Communion. But this goes back to remember when you took your first communion class during Lent last year or two years ago or three years ago? We went through real presence, transubstantiation and symbolic representation. We went through all three of those different understandings. So this was a throwback question. All right. Um, I think we're over to Davis to ask for the category. Um, not Burger King 800. Not Burger King. Davis. And here the answer is, the practice of not giving communion to everyone. The practice of not giving communion to everyone. and the blood, and the correct answer is true body and true blood. Yep, 1,000. All right. Boy, that changes the game, doesn't it? Okay. Uh, Ryan, it's up to you, or Landon. Uh, okay. Uh, life after death for 1,000. Life after death for 1,000. This is the last toss-up question. The next one will be the final jeopardy. Life after death. And the answer is, we may do this along with the words, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to remind us of our baptism. <laughs> Landon. Uh, what is you are baptized in? We may do this <laughs> along with the words, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, to remind us of our baptism. Do you want to think about your answer? Is what is make the sign of the cross? All right. Our daily totals. Our sharp or er, cool Christians win the day for the third time out of four weeks. So you can come up and get your candy quick. 
You get Danny candy. <laughs> but this is really interesting because we got 6,200, we got 6,000, or 5,500, we got a good. So while Rose adds this up, here is our final Jeopardy reality. This is how much you can bet. It'll be a one question. You have to, the first thing you write down is how much you're going to bet. Once you write that down, I will ask the question, and then the totals will be for the grand champion, the tournament of champions. So, sharks at 2,800. This is our total for the whole month. Grass has 59.50, and Cool Christians has 6,200. If you get it right, you go up. If you get it wrong, you go down. So you have to decide how much you're going to bet before you see the question. So take 30 seconds and decide how much of your totals you're going to bet. Because the winner is going to go out to dinner, uh, pizza ranch dinner with the pastor, the winning team. Alright, so take 30 seconds right now and talk amongst yourselves how much you're going to bet. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to write on that piece of paper that Rose gave you how much you're going to bet on this final Jeopardy question. 6,200, you got up to, you can bet zero up to 6,200, zero up to 5,550, zero up to 2,800. So don't tell other teams that you bet because that's going to change their bet. So write it down. You can discuss the answer, right? And you can discuss your answer. Question, I guess. Yeah. So the last thing we're doing is we're going to announce the question, or the answer, and then you will have to tell me your question. Are you ready? About 30 seconds. Don't discuss your question too loud because you may be given that right answer to the team next to you. You can talk amongst yourself, but you have to do it quietly. All right? And our final. And I got that wrong. Right. Oh, oh. Wet and Wild 800. Wet and Wild 800. Are you ready? And the answer is. All people, young and old, all nations. <laughs> all right. Write down your answer. Answer written down. Everybody have an answer? Do you have an answer? Yeah. Do you have an answer? Yeah. Do you have an answer? Okay. Okay. Our third place team with Sharks with 28 points. First, how much did you bet? One point. One point. One dollar? <laughs> you bet one dollar. All right. And for one dollar, what is your answer to the question, all people, young and old, all nations? Who are to be baptized? Who are those to be baptized? I'm not going to tell you if it's right or wrong yet, but who are? One dollar. Uh, next in line are grass. How much did you wager? Two hundred. Two hundred. All right. And what is your answer to the question, all people, young and old, all nations? Who should be baptized? Who should be baptized? All right. So we've got the same answer. If you're right, you're, you're now taking the lead. But if you're wrong... Um, you're still in the lead, all right? And our two-time, three-time weekly champions um, could really go forward or could get in trouble. 
Well, how much did you wager? 200. 200. All right. So if you get it right, what did you answer? What is all people that can be baptized? All people that can be baptized. You all answered the same question. So, and the answer is, who is to be baptized? So they all got it right. 2,801, uh, 6,150, and 6,400. I'm going to so, ask a question. Yeah. Plus the 800? No. Plus no? 800 no. for what? It's just whatever they No, no, that's, this is just okay. a, the, the number of the okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just wondering. Because they would have made because they all would have gotten it anyhow. Because they all got it right. You do it. All right. So, here's the situation. Does anybody feel like you really know your catechism well? You do? After going through a whole month and all we could score was 6,400 points out of, like, let's see, there's 6,000, uh, there's like 50,000 points and we scored 6,400. Is anybody like thinking, I need to learn mine better? Because that's the feeling I have. So for next fall, what we might do is we may just take some of our faith alive and say we're going to spend some time in the catechism. Would that be fair enough that we need to spend some time? Would you be okay with that? Um, now this is a good start, and we didn't, I didn't teach you anything. I just kind of gave it to you and said you guys study on your own. But I think we need to go back to this. And maybe next year we can do this game again after we've studied it and like did faith alive. Now you guys are eighth graders. You'll be up in high school, so you'll be doing this. But if you want to come back and put together a high school team, that'd be kind of cool, too. We could take on the high schoolers. Um, so doing that, I, I still think you did a good job. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't turned in your uh, Creation Museum Art Encounter sheets, make sure I get those tonight. Um, I don't need all the details. But just tell me if you or your parents are going. I need to have those so we can start planning those. Um, questions about baptism or Holy Communion that you didn't understand or didn't make sense um, as you studied it tonight. The three questions that I did not have in the catechism but I added were what do we generally call, uh, like what do the Catholics call uh, communion? Transubstantiation. What do the Reformed call communion? Symbolic representation. What do the Lutherans call communion? Uh, real presence. Those are just general knowledge questions that that we use to, to talk about how we refer to communion. But everything else is right out of your catechism. Okay? Winners. When would you like to go to dinner? So we can do it. I have a class right after church right. on Sunday. Um, we can do it like next Wednesday instead of coming to class. Uh, since there are no more classes, um, why don't we stick around afterwards and then we'll just talk about it maybe before your parents pick you up and we can figure out a time, okay? All right. Other questions you guys have? All right. I would like your bells back. Um, I also want to say let's thank you to our judge and our Vanna White scorekeeper. They did a great job in keeping us all in line. Did you have any, did you have any fun? Did you try to learn a little bit even though you had a little fun? Because learning can be fun, can't it? All right. Thank you very much. Let's close with a blessing. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be and abide with us always. Amen.